were terrified our truck was gonna get towed. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today is going to be like a productive day in the life. I have a grocery haul that just arrived that I'm gonna be showing you guys in just a second. I gotta carry all that in. I've been actually sitting here editing for what feels like forever. I have a few sponsorships coming up that I'm trying to get pre-filmed for. Um, so that's what I've been working on. Me and Zoe are just chilling <laughs> on the new couch. <laughs> We like it. Do you like it? I like it. But um, the kids are having quiet time right now. They want to get in the pool in a little bit, which is totally fine with me. But in order for them to do that, I got to clean it out. I got to just got to skim it. So I'm going to get the groceries in, show you guys some stuff that I got. By the way, I am doing like a little bit of stocking up. I'm sure most of you moms have heard there is supposed to be like this crazy food shortage coming up in the next year, I believe, or at the end of this year. And it's going to be at a time that's probably like the worst timing ever with it being Christmas time, beginning of the year, like things are changing and I think it's really important to start stocking up now just in case. I mean, best case scenario, that won't happen. Worst case scenario, it happens and I am at least at least like a little bit stocked up before then. So yeah, you will notice that there's gonna be a lot of canned foods, a lot more like random stuff that I typically don't buy on a regular grocery haul. But from here on out, anytime I share them with you, you may see a little bit extras in those videos. Uh, just showing you kind of like my little stockpile that I'm trying to accumulate. Um, so that's the plan. But anyway, let me get out here and get these groceries and I'll show you a haul and we'll start our day. All right, y'all. So I just got done bringing in all the groceries. The kids helped me too. We got everything unloaded and when I tell y'all that I stocked up, <laughs> I stocked up. Honestly, it wasn't that bad as far as the price goes had I not had to buy other groceries as well for this week. So I not only did I buy a few things to get us through the rest of this week, but I also stocked up. So it was like a lot all at once. But moving forward, I don't plan on buying this much every week, obviously, this is a lot. <laughs> and the problem is I was ordering online, so I couldn't physically see how much I was actually ordering. I was just like mentally thinking, okay, once a week, if we have like one can of sweet peas, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I don't know. It's a lot of food. Um, we'll eat it though. I mean, it's definitely not going to go to waste. This is all the types of food that we eat. Worst case scenario, we just won't buy groceries for like a few months because I'll have plenty of food to eat. But I think it's smart to start stocking up. So if you can stock up, maybe don't go as excessive as I went. I literally feel like this might have been just a little little too much okay so we're gonna start just on one side and work our way through so here I got a bunch of macaroni I got some teriyaki noodles we love the rice aroni so I got four boxes of beef four boxes of the cheddar broccoli four of the long grain oh wait I got five I got five of the long grain and wild rice I got a ton of the angel hair and pasta. This is one of our favorites, but we usually have to use two boxes for our family, so that's why there's a lot here. Um, but these are a great side if you're looking for like an easy, affordable, delicious side dish. Try that. Um, I got a bunch of chicken noodle soup. These are just great to have on hand for sick days or just like a quick, easy meal. Grilled cheese and chicken noodle soup is the bomb.com. <laughs> I got some refried beans. Hormel chili. I think it's always great to have this type of stuff on hand. You can make, you know, tacos, um, chili, all kinds of stuff. Eat chili dogs. So we like to have that on hand. I got some chicken nuggets back here, Uncrustables, some Nature Valley granola bars. These are for my husband for work. Some diced peaches, popcorn, gummy packs, and lots of these peanut butter crackers because I swear Caden can eat like four of these in one sitting. So I got a bunch of those. 
Then jumping back to the canned foods, I got a total of eight sliced carrots, three whole potatoes, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight cans of mixed vegetables, eight cans of sweet peas, eight cans of whole corn, six cans of the spaghetti and meatballs, four cans of mushrooms, how many is this, four, five, six, six cans of Spam, um, and then I got two big packs of tuna, and then two big packs of chicken breast, which I want to go ahead and get more of those, so I think my next week's haul, I might just work on getting more tuna and more like meats, since I got plenty of vegetables for a while, I think. I also got three cans of black beans, mixed greens. These are great for dinners. Oh my gosh, these are so good. If you've never tried these and you like greens, get you some of these. They're amazing. I also got a new thing of peanut butter because we're almost out. And over here on this side, I got some eggs, vitamin waters, juice. Tonight, I'm going to be doing some chicken. I'm not really sure how I'm going to cook it yet, but um, we only have chicken drums in our freezer right now, so I got some chicken thighs. I got some pizza grapes and two loaves of bread. One will go in the freezer and then one will stay out. Okay, so just for the heck of it, I thought I would add up the price difference between the canned goods versus the little bit of food that I got over here. So this whole stockpile, all of this food, all these canned goods was about $136. That's not too bad for the amount of food I feel like I got here. And then it's what's crazy to me is that a case of waters, a Mountain Dew case, and this little bit of food here was about the same price. That is insane to me. Like when you really look at like, I don't know, it just, this doesn't seem like a whole lot of food, you know? And then you look at all this and this is like a lot of food. So it's pretty, pretty amazing to see that. But um, yeah, that's not too bad for my first stock up. And then now to just slowly start adding to it, I'm excited. Alright, so that's not too bad. A lot of the stuff fit inside of my pantry. So this is what I have left that will not fit that I will be putting on my little stockpile shelf. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Y'all know I have been loving Skillshare recently. I've worked with them a few times on my channel over the past few months and I am so excited to be sharing with you again. If you are not familiar with Skillshare, it is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who wants to learn new skills at their own pace and on their own time. They offer a variety of classes from graphic design, photography, film and video, productivity, and so much more. With an easy to navigate website, no ads, and new premium classes launched each week, you will definitely find something that sparks your interest. Since I started working with Skillshare, I have enjoyed a variety of different types of classes. I have taken them on productivity, managing money, um, interior design, you name it, I've taken a class on it. And recently I found a class by Rose Sprinkle called Interior Decorate Like a Boss. I love her easy to follow approach when it comes to interior design. I feel like sometimes it can feel very overwhelming. You don't really know how to begin, but I loved her tips and I definitely recommend checking her out. But if you are not interested in interior design, don't worry, there are lots of other classes you might be interested in. And the best part is the first 1000 of you to use my link in the description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can check it out for yourself. Thank you once again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and get back to the vlog. Hey y'all, so it is a new day. Um, yesterday I didn't film much after sharing the grocery haul. I had a ton of work to do. I was responding to comments from the living room makeover. I had a video I had to edit. It's been, you know, a few busy work days, but I got all that done and the kids swam, we made dinner. 
you know, typical nighttime routine. But um, this morning, I just got a few packages in the mail. I got one from Walmart, which I believe is a couple more canned goods that they didn't give to me the day that I ordered my groceries. And then I also got um, a stand, like a outdoor, kind of like a garage shelf. I'll show you. It's the same one that I bought for underneath my carport, but it's smaller. And I'm going to use this one in the closet to store all of our foods because I don't want to put our food out in our sheds because it's just too hot and humid here. Um, and so because we don't have a whole lot of closet space in this house, we decided to use my son's closet because right now his closet has just become storage anyway due to the fact that we use his dresser for his clothes. It's just easier for him to put his own clothes away when we do it that way. He folds them and puts them in his drawers. So that's what's been functioning for us. And so we're just gonna utilize his closet for some storage and make it work. But I'm gonna put the shelf together. Ooh, ow, gee, did y'all hear that? <laughs> I stepped on a bead, a bead, like a big one. Let me show you. Where did it go? It like flung off. I don't know. It's like this huge bead. My daughter and my son are making bracelets right now. I don't know where that one went. Let me show you. How's it going? Good. Look, I'm gonna, I'm making a rainbow bracelet that I'm gonna wear tomorrow. Oh, jeez, my phone almost fell off the tripod. Look, I'm making a rainbow bracelet. I love it. It's beautiful, babe. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Okay, just realized that his closet light is out. The light bulb. I just bought light bulbs. What did I do with them? Oh, they're my, they're in the carport. <laughs> Where everything's all nice and organized. I forgot. Look at me. I'm on a roll. There's the bead, y'all, that I stepped on. Let me grab this thing. That hurt. Also, here's the shelf that I got. Like I said, it's the same um, type that I bought for underneath the carport. One, two, three, four, five shelf. Wow, okay, it's a little bit bigger than I thought. Four foot, did it say it was four foot or five foot? Now I'm starting to wonder, because I mean, this looks like it's gonna be a lot bigger than I thought. Oh no. <laughs> The joys of being organized. You can find exactly what you're looking for right when you need it. <laughs> Versus like digging through stuff. And I forgot, y'all, I'm still like getting used to this whole like organizing thing. I organized all of my tools, my paints, um, like my painting supply tools. When I say tools, I don't mean like my actual tools. I don't leave those outside because number one, it's not good to leave them out in the weather. Number two, um, I'm scared someone's gonna steal my stuff, so <laughs> I don't leave that stuff out there. But anyway, um, I went through and I organized my carport shelves so I knew where everything was, like screwdrivers, you know, basic, like small tools, like tape measures and stuff. And it's nice because when I need something, I know exactly where it's at and I keep forgetting that I did that. So <laughs> I'm still getting used to it, but it is nice to have a nice organized space. Yes, honey. All right, so I got the light back on. I moved his like little closet system. We got this from Amazon. I'll link it below. It's been pretty decent. It's held up pretty great. Um, it's not really the most like sturdy thing ever. I mean, as you can see, but it does the job. So anyway, this is what his closet's looking like currently. Kind of empty, but the shelving unit is going to go here. So, and then I have all the bagged foods um, kind of laid out. I have a lot to do. I got to sweep and everything, but... Anyway, I'm gonna work on putting the shelf together and making sure it fits right here in the corner. Okay, so I just quickly learned that I'm gonna have to put it together inside of the closet or I won't be able to get it in there. So um, I got the part one in there, but now I just gotta assemble the rest. And I'll show you guys what it's looking like. So hopefully it functions okay. All right, so I got the shelf built. Um, I have the, hold on, let me get in the closet. <laughs> So this top, oh geez, it just whacked my head. Um, I can't 
pull down on this one hard enough by myself in here so I'm gonna wait for my husband to get home but I am gonna go ahead and stack up the food that I can on these lower shelves it's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be <laughs> I thought it was gonna be four foot but it came with an extra like it's a little taller than that All right, so here is the start to our food storage. It's looking good. I feel like I need, um, you know, to just keep adding to it, but it's a good start. All right, y'all, so totally random, but I'm actually going to take a nap. I can't keep my eyes open. I'm so exhausted. I stayed up till like three in the morning last night editing, and I'm definitely paying the price for it. <laughs> I hit this afternoon crash, and I'm trying to cut back on caffeine, so. I'm just going to take a little 30 minute nap <sighs> and hopefully feel better when I wake up. You lay on this part. You lay on this part. <laughs> I said, no, you make me, mom. <laughs> I'll lay on you. Lay down. <laughs> You're crazy. You're so crazy. All right, so I took a really good nap earlier. I feel much better. I definitely needed it. I could tell that my body was just like, gave me some rest. So I took about a two-hour nap. My husband came home, and then I left. <laughs> um, I laughed because, you know, every mom has to have that runaway moment for a second. But I actually have to get, I don't have to, but I want to find something to wear this weekend because my husband and I are going on a weekend little getaway together um, and I can't wait. It's been a long time since we've done this and we really, really need this a lot. Um, so I'm not really sure what we're going to do. We're going to play it by ear because the weather is so unpredictable here. Um, I didn't even book a room because I was scared to and then it rained the whole time. So we may just drive down to the beach and go out to dinner and go to some shops and just kind of hang out. Um, or we may go to like the city or something and rent like scooters, browse, maybe go on a, um, I think in Tampa, they have like a cruise boat that goes around Tampa Bay and you can have dinner and stuff and we might do that if they have open slots depending on tomorrow's weather so we'll just see but um in the meantime I want to find something cute to wear not only for like if we do do an outdoor activity I need new tennis shoes I don't have any um that are like nice the ones I have from Walmart the back of them broke and I'm so bummed so I'm going to look at Bell's Outlet and see if I can find a good pair of shoes um, also, maybe like a dress or something. I don't ever wear dresses, but I kind of want to wear a dress out to dinner. It's so hot and it'll be nice and cool. And um, I don't know, whatever else I might find. But let's go look and see what they got. Every change has a Okay, so I wanted to show you guys these lamps. You can fill them with anything you want. Rocks, seashells, you name it. And I thought it would be super fun to have those. And then every time you go to the beach, add a few new shells to it. Until eventually, they are full. 
I thought it'd be so cute for like a beach house or a beach themed home. I don't know. I just, I really liked it. <laughs> so as you can see, most of the time when I shop at Bell's, you'll notice that there is a lot of beach style decor. I think it's just because I live in Florida. So that's, you know, just common where I live. But if you have a beach house, I highly, highly recommend coming to Bell's Outlet to buy home decor for it because I could totally style an entire beach house just based off of the stuff in Bell's Outlet. <laughs> it would be so much fun. Like, look at all this cute stuff. I cannot. All right, so we are ready. Um, we got the kids in the truck. We're just gonna take them over to my brother and sister-in-law's house. And then we're going on our little date weekend. We're going to Orlando to Wonderworks and Ripley's Believe It or Not, and then coming home, getting ready to go to dinner. Um, but Dylan had to run back in and grab the floaties because the kids wanted to get in the pool. So they gotta have their floaties. But anyway, whenever we get there, I will try to film You know what I can. <laughs> I see you waving back there. Oh, I see you. <laughs> um, but we're gonna have a good time. That's fake. Is it? Hello, friend. Commemorate your visit with a press penny. Oh, mine's pretty. Look at mine. Mine's Egyptian king and coin. The kids. <laughs> Do it again. That's weird. It's actually just a thing. Do not Shock machine. Why is not doing mine? Mine's already big enough. Oh, Here we are! are. Oh, we are. <laughs> We're so dumb! <laughs> yeah. no password. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing! Oh, we took a picture. Did we not do it? I did, you don't know what I'm saying. I did! Uh, So it has been a few days. It is now Thursday. I have been prepping for my son's birthday party, getting all the things that I needed. I've also spent a lot of time with family this week, so that's why I haven't filmed much. Um, but today is Thursday. I have a lot to get done before this weekend. So I want to show you guys what I ended up getting for his party. And I'm really excited this year because this is the first year that he didn't want to do monster truck themes. So I was like, yes, something different, you know? So I got super excited. I, I went to Party City to get a few things and then I also ordered some stuff from Amazon. So let me show you what I got. Okay, first off, I 
first thing from Target City was this pinata. It was $20, which I feel like is pretty affordable for a pinata because they're kind of expensive at Walmart. Um, I think there was like one there that was like $30, $40 for a cardboard box. Like, I could make my own pinata. <laughs> but anyway, um, got that. I also got a whole bag of candy to fill it. We already broke into it though. Last night we were all eating candy, so got that. And then I got these little party favors, but I'm actually gonna do these a little bit different. Instead of putting these in like little gift bags and giving them out, I'm gonna do like a little um, sand dig type of hunt where I'm gonna get a little kiddie pool, fill it up with sand, throw these in it, and the kids can like dig for their own treasures. I thought that'd be fun. So I'm doing that. I also got a happy birthday banner. Let's see. I got the Dino Egg Kit. I think I showed you guys this in my last vlog, but how cool is that? The kids can like literally dig for their own dinosaurs. Love that. I also got balloons. Um, a banner from Amazon, which I thought this was pretty nice. I can't remember exactly how much it was. I'll have to have it linked if you have a little boy. But isn't that cool? Yeah. with string. Of course I got plates, napkins. I didn't get cups because um, we're just going to do like canned drinks, probably a bottle of drinks, Capri Suns and stuff for the kids. Just keep it easy. Who's calling for you, baby? Oh. These are the plates I ended up getting from Party City. I thought they were super cute. I also got tablecloths. They have, I've never been to Party City. Never. I don't think, I honestly don't think I've ever set foot in one. I've always shopped at like Dollar Tree or Walmart for party supplies. The only reason I went to Party City was because I really wanted to find some like true dinosaur stuff. Um, because we're talking to a whole lot of kids at this birthday party, so I'm trying to make this one like super magical and the best way I possibly can. I didn't overspend or anything. I spent a hundred dollars on all the party supplies, which isn't too bad for plates, napkins, decorations, um, and that's it. That's all we're basically doing, and then just trying to make it as fun as possible. So. I am excited though. Are you excited about your party? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. How, how old are you going to be? Five. Five. Get big. Yeah. So, earlier today, this morning, I actually made a, I got like a pot roast going in the crock pot. And I've made a pot roast so many times and it's always turned out amazing. Like you really can't mess up a pot roast. I somehow messed it up because the meat is not getting tender. It has been going all day long and it is still hard as rock. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> um, but we're probably gonna end up having chili dogs instead because the meat will not tender, like it won't get tender. This, this summer we've been really busy and I've been trying hard to do Mom, all- I listened, I listened. You listened? You didn't get none? They're not in your pocket? <laughs> That's how I know you're lying. When you start smiling. He's trying to tell me he didn't get candy. You didn't get candy? Let me see. I don't have pockets. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have pockets. Hey y'all, so it is a new day. I actually um, went and got ready. It's now Friday. I tried to update you guys a little bit yesterday, but I kept getting distracted, so that I would start over today. Um, so this past weekend, my husband and I had our date night and it was so much fun. Our 12 year dating anniversary, which is the one that I count to be honest. Um, we've been married for almost five years we've been married for almost five. I don't even know <laughs> we've been married for almost five years this November but we've been together for 12 like total and I knew from the moment we started act officially dating that he was gonna be my husband I knew that like I just knew it so anyway our 12 year anniversary is coming up on the 27th so this past weekend my brother and sister-in-law watched the kids so we could go out and spend the whole weekend together so it was kind of like an anniversary date um, we had a blast. We went to Ripley's, believe it or not, which was so much fun. We had a great time there, like a lot of fun. And then we went to, um, it's okay, buddy. Then we went to Wonderworks, which is the upside down building. And um, it was $79 to get in for just us two. And I just, like, I remember it being a little bit different than it was. <laughs> They're painting pictures and it's not going as planned. Um, but anyway, so Wonderworks just wasn't what it, what it used to be, I guess. I was young the last time I went, and I just remember it being a little bit more interactive, but it was like an arcade. 
in my opinion, and it just wasn't worth $80 plus getting in there and then having to pay for things as well. It was just a lot. So we decided to um, ask for a refund, which I'm shocked. They were so nice. Holy moly. If you have kids and you want to take your kids to an arcade, I think it'd be fun, but it was just us too. We were just trying to do some fun things together and um, go slow. <laughs> but um, yeah, anyway, I called, I let them know like, hey, you know, I was just calling to see if I could get a quick refund. We walked in and just, we realized it's not what we thought it was going to be. And they were so sweet. They like immediately refunded us with no questions asked. And I thought to myself, if they don't refund us, it's not really not that big of a deal. I'll just give my tickets to someone at the gate where you have to um, stand in line and make someone's day. So if, had they not refunded us, we would have just given our tickets away, but we were already all the way back to the truck. And it's kind of funny because whenever we, we drove my husband's truck there, I personally like driving on the highway in his truck instead of my car because it's just bigger, it feels, you feel safer. So <laughs> his truck is lifted <laughs> and there's like no parking spots around there. There's a parking garage, but that's it. So we pull up to the parking garage and he's like, do you think my truck's gonna fit? I was like, I don't know. Probably not. So we pull up. I'm like, there's only one way to find out. We just pull up to like the little thing that hangs down. And I didn't think his truck was that high, but I guess it is. We pull up and <laughs> the little thing that hangs down that shows you how if your truck's too high was like hitting his windshield. I'm like, yeah, no, back out. <laughs> Go backwards. So we backed out of there and we went and parked at some restaurant and it said like tow away zone. So we were terrified our truck was going to get towed. So by the time we got done with um, Wonderworks, we hightailed it, walked all the way back to the truck. Thankfully, it was still there, and that's when I asked for the refund. But we had an amazing time. Um, then we came home, went out to dinner. Oh, did I? Boy, you just scared me. What? So it can dry. Okay. It's beautiful. Here's our little hand wax thing that we did. How cool is that? Sure. You can, oh, oh sorry. did you get it on the shirt? No, I'm sorry. Okay, it's okay. There's that is one. beautiful. There's a little sunset. I put. Oh, I mixed it. Out. I mixed it the pink and that one. It made a sunset, and then I got the beach, and then a heart, and then there's two circles around it. That is gorgeous. But that's our little hand wax thing. No, Zoe's over here living her best life. Can I cuddle with you? I just want to be you. You're so special. Uh, she is so cute. But, um, yes. She is super cute. But I'm going to end today's... I'm so happy too. Um, I'm going to end today's video here. Thank you guys for hanging out with me over the past few days. I really appreciate it so much. Sorry I haven't been posting much, but summer's been busy and we've really been just enjoying our time as a family. So, anyway, on my community tab last night, I made a post just kind of explaining why I haven't been as active. Um, you know, summer's just busy. My kids are at that age where they just really need me, and I've been spending a lot of time with family and just trying to make this one of the best summers we've had in a long time, and it's been awesome. It's been a lot of fun, but yeah, I'll see you guys um, next week with a new video. I should have a cleaning video up sometime this weekend, hopefully. Um, depends on how fast I can get the editing done, but anyway, thank you again for being here and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye y'all.